Hello my fellow crafters, welcome back to my channel. My name is David and today I'm going to be making washi tape. Yes, well, sort of, DIY washi tape. And it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be fun, 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 because I've tested it out and it works. So I'm happy. Uh, I tested it up front. So let's going to see what you're going to need. Painter's tape. And waterproof ink. That's it. That's all you need. Now, let's switch the cameras around so we can get started. And you can use this washi tape in your journals, in your cards, wherever you want, in your junk journals. So um, I'm just going to stick this, just two pieces of this painter's tape onto my craft sheet. And um, let me show you what I did before with the test. Look how gorgeous that is. Um, now I'm going to learn, share with you my tips and tricks and I'm going to experiment. And we're going to start with the experiment first because what I did with those was archival. Um, and the problem that I had was, and I don't mind it, so um, let me see if I can find it. Um, archival activates archival. So that meant that uh, when I blended over with the colors, the black started to bleed a bit. Uh, but that happens. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start with, uh, and I'm going to make some browns, I think. Um, and I'm going to use the first fine clairs now. See if they work, because I don't see why not. But yeah, let's give it a go, shall we? Now I'm going to clean up my brushes. Yeah, that's fine. That's a brown. Um, so I'm going to start with the darker one. And I'm going to take a scrap piece of paper. And I'm just going to see how that, oh, wrong color. Yeah, that's quite intense. So I'm just going to start by coloring and blending fairly. So I'm going to color and blend that washi tape. Just with a light wash of that brown. And since this is waterproof, you can uh, you ink blend over it later on. If you would use your distress, that's not possible. So now I'm going to come in with the lighter brown, the more reddish brown. And I'm just going to blend over that. Now, this works so far. And it makes a nice vintagey brownish color on my tape, which is the point, right? Well, not vintage per se. You can make it as modern as you want, which we're going to play with some colors in a minute. But first, I wanted to try this and just come in with a darker again. Just making a blend until I'm happy with what I'm seeing. And when I'm happy, happy. And when I'm happy, I will just take my heat tool and dry this. Because this is a pigment ink and that will take a while to dry. Now, that's the benefit of using archival. Archival dries quicker, but even on this tape, it takes a while. So, um, and not everybody has archival in different colors. So, but a lot of us have the stamping inks. So, yeah, but it's, as long as it's a waterproof ink, you can use it. So next I'm going to take my um, script stamp that is from this set, the script stamp, and I'm going to stamp on there. Now I just, I'm going to stamp, sorry, I'm going to stamp using the fallen leaves, the darker brown. stuff in the way. There we go. Beautiful. Not perfect, but hey, that's what, that's fine. So now I'm going to take that square piece of paper again and I'm going to blot that. I'm going to take off some of that color. Um, I'm 
So it works with the first of my clear as well, guys. That's I'm happy to see that. Um, so let me dry that. Just let me check. There's nothing coming off. Yeah, there's still some coming off. So I'll better give that another good blot. Because that's important that the layers are dry. Now I'm just going to do some black stamping on top so it's not a disaster, but... Okay, black stamping. I'm going to use elements from this stamp. I'm going to start using this circle element. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink it up in black, take that scrap piece of paper, stamp it off, and then I'm going to stamp it onto my washi tape. You see, so we have a second generation I'm going to stamp that coming off the tape a bit. Like so. There we go. That's enough. This is a fun little stamp. This is the one, two, three, four, five. Just the numbers. Uh, and I'm going to use that on there as well in different directions. Mm. Yeah, I think that is enough. I can always come back. And then I've got this little stamp, which has the three crosses. So let's do that one. I'm just going to go over the two where I want to. Overlapping a bit, doesn't really matter. That's nice. Next, I'm going to take this little stamp and I'm going to do that free-handed. I'm going to ink that up, tap it off, and I'm just going to place that here and there, filling up some of the gaps. And I think this is enough for this one. So, next, now it's really important to dry. Really make sure this is dry. You can let it air dry, of course. But that will take a while, so I'm going to use the heat tool, because otherwise this video will be very long. We don't want that. Next, I will just take a piece of white copier paper, and I'm going to peel them off. Oops, that happens. Just roll them back. And that's where I store them. So I just stick them onto a piece of paper. And here you have your own washi tape, your homemade washi tape. And the fun bits about this is that you can color match it with anything you've got going on. You can use the stamps you want to match your project. Uh, you can use text that you really think is necessary on your project. And I love it. I love the effect. Look how cool. So, that's that. Now let me clean up my mess and then I will make another one, because why not? Now I'm going to use some brighter colors. Let's make a wider version of that. So I've got a wider tape here. So, place that down. So it's the same quality, just the cheapest one I could find, masking tape, for when you're painting your house or something like that. Um, so. I have bought two sizes. Can't find the other one now. <laughs> Just used it. Interesting. Okay. 
Now let me see. I want. I said I was going to go a bit brighter, so I'm going to use golden meadow and an orange that is called summertime. This is bright, guys. This is bright. So I need my orange brush and I need my a yellow brush. So I've got three sets of brushes. I know it's a bit decadent, but for me that makes sense. I've got one for my inks, Distress inks, Gina K inks, you name them. Simon Hurley's, uh, I use them with all. Then I've got one set dedicated to oxides. And if you look at the difference between the two brushes, you see why. You see, this is sort of greasy, harder, and this is softer. And so, yeah, I just don't want to be cleaning all my brushes all the time. And I've got some for pigment inks. That could be your pigment inks like Percival and Claire or your archival. So um, just load up the brush. And apply that ink. Now I'm going to start quite lightly. As I said, this is quite a bright color. And again, what I'm doing is um, applying it first instead of afterwards because, um, yeah, I don't want the the black ink that I'm going to use to stamp. I don't want that to smudge. Actually, I'm not sure about the yellow. I want, I want, I want. Um, yeah, I'm going to use this one. Glamorous, a reddish pink. I think that's cool. I might use some yellow. You never know. Yeah, I think that's, that's fun. That is fun. more of that orange where these do blend you get sort of a purple which is also not a bad thing so I'm just building up the base color now fairly of the washi tape let me see what happens if I bring in a little bit of that yellow works just nice okay this is just functioning as a background guys don't 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 freak your freak just play fairly where's my lid oh there's my lid so these can go to the side now don't need them now what I want to do I want to keep this one quite simple so I'm gonna take my text stamp because I love this stamp and I'm gonna use my black ink First of all, clear in black. I'm going to ink up my stamp. Stamp it off because I want a second generation. And use that on my washi. Ooh, I love that. So let's do that one more time. Stamp it off and stamp that again on there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, I want some more texture. So what I want to do, and I'm looking for that stamp, I've got a little stack of stamps here. I'm going to use this stitched line, this one. Just to give it some more texture. And again, second generation. I'm just going to stamp that on there along the side. You see, that's fun, 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 fun. I'm loving that. Just going to put 
it there and there. Now I'm going to take my small little crosses Ink them off, ink them off. Yeah, just to give that some more texture, but not too bold. You see that? I don't even have to ink up again. It's just working. And that's it. I'm not doing any more. So let me put these onto my copy of paper because I think that is when they shine. Now I haven't dried these, so I've got to be careful not to smudge everything. There we go. See? That is really wet still, but it's gorgeous. So these are the tapes we made together. Love the grunginess of this, love the bright, still grungy of these. And these are the ones I made with archival. Different effect again, uh, but really lovely. I really like it. So yeah, next step is use them in my journals. This is really cool. I'm loving these. I'm loving these. So guys, if you like it too, give this video a thumbs up. I hope you learned something today. I know I did. Uh, so if you did, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below. Uh, I always reply. I love hearing from you guys. And uh, see you next time. And if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button for more fun videos like this. Thank you for joining me and I love to see you the next one. Bye.